Good morning and welcome to another episode of The Marathon. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Lace up and subscribe today. It's Monday morning and I thought I would show you my outfit. This is what we've got going on today. I am wearing my tea necklace as always. This tank top is from Old Navy. It's pretty cute. These jeans are from the Bay. And then these are my new shoes, which I haven't worn yet. I got them in July, but today it seems appropriate. They seem very fall-esque. They are from Winners. And I got them on clearance. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. We're just getting ready to go to school, and then I have a meeting with a business owner who wants to be a client. So I'm gonna see if it's a fit even after extensive research on his business. I still don't really know if social media is the best, but uh, I'm happy to meet with him and see. That's sort of how I do things. Well, that's always how I do things. I always meet with a potential client, see what their needs are, and then see if it's even possible. Usually we can come to some sort of way, but there's been a few, for sure. So, yeah, that's about it. I need to get Thomas's teeth brushed. And I'll show you the shirt that he's wearing today because it's super cute. And we'll continue on this Monday today together. We just showed them your new shirt. It says, oh, you want to see it selfie? Okay. And I say, hi. This is how I roll with sushi rolls. Like, so cute. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and he's got his new shoes on. Oh right, over fawning my, I could just stare at you all day. Like, mom, we're gonna be late. Okay, say bye. Good boy. My meeting this morning went really well. I actually think that it's going to be a really good fit, which was nice. He has a multifaceted business and the part of his business that wouldn't make sense, he wasn't interested in my services for, so I was like, sweet, that's awesome. So I came home and did a ton of work. Now it's 12, 10, and I'm starving. So I want to have some lunch, <laughs> obviously. But we met at Starbucks, and I talked about this on my Insta story this morning, but I just got a drip coffee, I got a Pike Place, and I'm still shaky from the caffeine. Turns out, drip coffee at Starbucks has way more caffeine than the espresso, and it's cheaper. What? So, fun fact, I thought I would share with you, but like, yeah, I'm shaky from it, it's crazy. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna have for lunch. Um, yesterday was a Q&A, so I didn't show you any of my day, but we ended up having a really nice chill day. I cleaned my makeup brushes and Thomas's bed and just did a bunch of stuff around the house, which felt really good, and then we went to the cemetery to visit my dad, because yesterday was the 15th anniversary of his death. And a couple of years ago, I wanna, I think it was two years ago I posted a video on my journey about losing a parent. So I'll link that below. It's, like I said, it's a couple years old, but the tips are all super valid and it's how I managed to get through it. And I think I even talked about how I managed to get married because I know that was something that I was really concerned about and not having him there to walk me down the aisle. My brother actually walked me down the aisle. But it was really nice and my mom takes Thomas up to see my dad quite often so like he knew where to go, where to find him and it's just really cute. This is my cobbled together lunch. Pasta, a little bit of tofu, broccoli and tomato and some zucchini and nutritional yeast and some green onion and for the wow. sauce I just put in a little bit of this. This roast garlic balsamic vinaigrette. Um, yeah, it's all natural, it's delicious, so hopefully this will be good. <laughs> this is often what I do if I don't know what to make. I just make a little bit of pasta and then throw in some veg and some protein and some nutritional yeast. And it's just a really easy way to have lunch and some energy for the afternoon. You're welcome on this Monday. Take a shot, my pantry's open. How did that even start? I think I just like, I'm gonna say Vlogmas at some point. Anywho's, hi, how are you? I hope you're having a good day. It's 10 to six. I'm just making Thomas some 
pasta for dinner because I'm not hungry, zero hunger. I'm making myself just a little salad. I'm still full from that pasta from lunch, honestly. It took me like an hour to eat it. So that was the last time I saw you. I had a really nice call. Let me put you down so I can keep making supper. I'm also prepping some potato wedges. Let's see. Oh, hello, hello, hold on. Don't you fall. I am just making myself a salad. So we've got some cucumber, the other half of the tomato from lunch today. You don't really care what's in my green salad. I'm making potato wedges. I thought they'd be good for Thomas's lunches. And I was gonna make veggie burgers for dinner tonight, but honestly, I'm not hungry. So maybe we'll just have them tomorrow. But I was already in the process of making them, so I'm making potato wedges. Good story, everybody. I had a really nice conference call for an hour with a marathoner and a friend of mine. We've known each other since 2005. We met, we worked in the same newsroom when I had my first like paid radio job. <clears throat> so that was really nice. Nice to catch up with her. And then... I worked, picked up Thomas, he went to autism therapy, and I came home and started catching up on comments on my videos. If you comment on my videos, you'll probably notice that I comment back in spurts. But I spent like an hour and a half today, and I'm not even through them all, so I've saved my place, and I will continue that after dinner. You guys leave the nicest comments. It's so rare that I have to block someone or someone leaves something rude. No oil, I just use a Silpat mat. Ta-da, you know this, you know me. Drinking a ginger ale Zevia on this turned up Monday. Oh God, I, no, nope. If, what is this, what? Hi. If you're part of the Marathoner Facebook group, you may remember that Leanne gave away a ticket to see Miranda Lambert at the end of the month. Well, Kim won, and I met her today, just randomly. I don't, I didn't have the ticket to give to her because I didn't know I was gonna see her, but that was really fun. So I'm gonna give it to her later this week. She's not actually sitting with us because Leanne accidentally bought a ticket like a one-off, but she didn't seem to care, so. That was fun. Picked up Thomas from Autism Therapy. He had a really good day both at school and at therapy. And I'm gonna tell you something exciting. This may not sound exciting to you, but holy crap, it made me miss Jer because I wanted to be able to tell him this because it's like such a big deal. We got home, Thomas was looking for his iPad for some well-deserved Elmo time, and I said to him, Elmo's in your room, and he went up and got it. This is a big deal because he understood what I said, he heard a direction, and he followed through with it. I can't even tell you how mind-blowing this is to me. Like, the fact that he used to not even be able to hear what we were saying to him, and now he can follow a direction, and that's a pretty complicated direction. Go upstairs to your bedroom, and that's where Elmo is. Like, I was like, who can I tell? I'm gonna tell the marathoners. It's a big freaking deal. So, yay. I had a question. Um, I'm not gonna save it for the q and I'm just gonna answer it now. Now I'm making my dinner, my salad. Someone asked me why I didn't stay overnight for the wedding on Saturday night. Jeremy had booked us a room at the hotel at Manning Park, but I just really felt like I wanted to come home and have Thomas in his own bed, and I was worried that the day was gonna be upsetting. It totally wasn't, but it was nice to come home. Like, it was good. And he was so grumpy at the reception that it would have been bad news if we were just going back to the hotel, because he's super loud. So I called to cancel the room, and fun fact, they don't. 
<laughs> they have a 30 day cancellation policy and even though I told them that my husband had died, they didn't care. So it was either take a loss or get a credit, which I can use in the next year. So at some point you're gonna see a Manning Park video because I'll be taking some girlfriends there to use that credit. Yeah, didn't. It, was, it wasn't great, I, was, I wasn't, wasn't really thrilled about that. But it's okay, we will persevere and make lemonade and add some vodka to it at some point with my girlfriends. Probably in the spring, I can't imagine being able to make it work before the roads get bad. Can I just say, without this sounding so sad, I love vlogging. It is bringing me so much joy and comfort to talk to you and show you my day and then interact with you in comments in the Marathoner Facebook group. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe because it's just so lovely. Like, to come home and have no one to talk to, it's tough. And to have you guys seriously is helping me so much, so thank you. Just on my nails, I used Nails Ink Porchester Square, which is one of my absolute faves. And then on my toes, I used Chanel's Taboo. I've had this for years now. It's really pretty, like that iridescent color, um, but I wanted to see if it was still good and it is so that's what's on my toes thanks for watching lace up and become a marathoner subscribe to my channel and i'll see you tomorrow bye